Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing my favorite kitchen organization hacks. So I'm going to be taking you guys through different parts of my kitchen, showing you how I organize them and also some ideas for those of you who have smaller storage space. And I feel you guys because we used to live in a one bedroom unit and I had no, I literally had to share the pantry with the linen closet. So I feel you on this. But for those of you who are new here, please subscribe because this year I'm going to be organizing different homes, going to different spaces as well. So you guys can see how I really maximize, you know, everyone's situation, whether it's their pantry, their linen closet, whatever it is. So hopefully once I work out the logistics of it and the C word doesn't stop me, I'm very excited to come and step everyone's houses. It's going to be so much fun. Anyway, so I want to get stuck in today's video. Um, I will try and link everything I can remember below. So if, if I've forgotten something, please comment and I will make sure I find the link for you guys if they still sell it. Because we know at the moment, like Kmart's out of everything. So <laughs> hopefully we can find it. Anyways, let's get stuck into it. So I thought I would quickly start with a pantry. I've done a pantry full organization um, tour before, which I will link below, but I'm gonna go through my favorite pantry hacks and just how I organize things and the best way to start. And then I wanna move out to the rest of the kitchen. All right guys, as you can see here, this is my pantry. And yes, I love this room. This is where I come to hide from my children sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get right into it. So firstly, when you're organizing any pantry, you wanna do the three steps, which is cull, categorize, and contain. But please don't go out and buy containers before you have measure measured your space. You can buy tubs like this. This is Ikea, but you can actually buy them even cheaper now at Kmart. I think even the reject shop has them as well. But anyway, just having everything in categories is honestly life-changing. If, if you don't want to spend money on labels, you can also use chalk pen and you write on it and it doesn't come off as easily as like a whiteboard marker. But yeah, definitely try out chalk pen. All right, so first hack, which I always is my go-to, is the Lazy Susan. We know I do this everywhere. So this is perfect for sauces. Yes, we keep our tomato sauce in our pantry because that's what we do. Um, so yes, this is a really good hack. You can do it in corner cupboards as well because the corner is always really awkward, but this is perfect because you can never reach the back without knocking things over. So with this, you literally have everything accessible. So yeah, I've got two of those. I've got that for our spreads and Vegemite and all of that stuff. And then we've got like sauces. So yes, as you can see, I have it in the freezer. This is a clear one from Kmart, I'm pretty sure. I will do a fridge organization tour maybe for another video, but really handy. You can pop the butter there and you have all your sauces and everything accessible. So definitely try it Lazy Susan. You can also use it for spices. So as you guys can see here, I have enough space to display my spices like this, but you can definitely keep your spices in their containers and pop them on here as well. So if you have a long and narrow pantry cupboard, anything, make sure you get long and narrow tubs. Anything like this is perfect because you can slide it out and it stops all of that dead space at the back. This is also perfect for like drink bottles and things like that. Even kids' lunches you can fit in there as well. So like kids' lunch boxes. So they're amazing as well. One of the biggest questions I get asked to about like using containers is how do you keep track of expiry dates? So what I do is I literally get a whiteboard marker and I will write the expiry dates on the back. So the next time I wash that container, that expiry date will just come off. So you don't need to buy, you know, special labels and stuff that you can literally just write with a whiteboard marker on the back and that's how I do it. All right, my next favorite organization tip for the kitchen and your pantry is using stackable containers. All my containers are little label co and they're absolutely amazing. Now these are perfect for those of you who have small spaces. So you're really going to want to utilize layering. You guys can see here I've labeled them so I actually can have these in front. So definitely grab the stackable containers. I love the bamboo. They look beautiful but in terms of space, I would definitely go for this one. For anything like your kids' snacks and those awkward things to store, I love the flip lid containers. I use this for so many things. I'll show you in a minute. That's from Kmart. You can use this for kids' toys as well in their rooms and even washing. So yeah, really good. I love that. And you can even, with the Lazy Susan again, you can get the double tiered ones, which is really great too if you don't have a lot of space. Now here we have the oil bottles and a lot of people ask me, why do I do this? So oil bottles tend to be this big. So I started doing this a while back, mostly because I love to label things, but because instead of having 
this big guy and heaps of different types of these taking up all my space, I thought I would do a good size amount in these little clear bottles, which I have labeled as well. And then it's gonna take up a lot less space and I can see everything that I've got. So obviously with my oils and vinegars and stuff, I keep them in another cupboard that I don't use often. So that's just an option. Again, you could use a Lazy Susan for this. And this isn't revolutionary or anything, but I just really love how I don't have to have all different mis mismatched bottles on display and taking up heaps of room. So yeah, just keep your big oil bottles in another cupboard. I got these from Pack My Product for like $1.50, so really cheap. And then I labeled them. So yes, love that. It's so nice and you get the little tiered shelves. One last pantry tip before I move on. So here we have the backstock container. Now this container is for anything that you buy doubles of or you don't fit all the cereal in there as well. So this is where I pop that and anything that goes on sale, I'll tend to pop that in there as well before I put it in the container. So I do like to stock up. All right, moving on to under the sink, which can be the hardest place to organize. It's very awkward and you just kind of don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna show you two different ways I do it because I've got the butler's pantry sink and then I've got this one. So this one's the smaller one. So I'm gonna quickly show you. So as you guys can see, I don't have a lot of space under this sink. So if you can, always go up. If you haven't got much width, you go up. So I got these wooden drawers from Kmart many years ago. They don't sell them anymore, but you can definitely get very um, similar items. Also, you can use a Lazy Susan under the sink as well which is another option. So in here I've got dishwashing tablets, dish cloths at the bottom there, and then I've got some cleaning cloths and then some sponges and it's all the same on that side. Here again, we've got a long and narrow container to grab any items from the back there. And then I'm using a command hook here to hang some cleaning cloths. So that's great for rentals as well. A lot of these tips you can literally do with rentals because you can remove them. But yes, I absolutely love command hooks. I use them for, you know, brooms, for clothes storage. If you don't have much wardrobe space, all that stuff, the command hooks can be amazing. So that is that one here. Now I'll show you my other under the sink area. So as you guys can see already, this is a much bigger space. So we've got a lot more in here. So here's that flip lid container again, where I store shopping bags, cause I'm not someone, I'm not gonna fold or roll up my shopping bags. Like. <laughs> I don't have time for that. So I throw it in there so much easier. So that's that, I got two there. And then I got this clear container for garbage bags. And then I got these two pull out um, containers that it like got wipes and stuff in there. Cleaning cloths, dish cloths, and then hand wash. So that is that cupboard there. So it's a little bit different, but that's another way you guys could organize it as well. All right, so next up is how to organize drink bottles, kids lunch boxes, all that type of thing. I'll take you through it now. All right, so we'll start off with the drink bottles at the bottom. As you can see, I've just got these cheap wine bottle holders from Kmart. So that is one option you can do. So the benefit of doing it this way instead of having them up vertically is you're not gonna be knocking them over. You can see everything that you've got. Another way of doing this is getting a wine rack. So it's just like little shelves and then you pop in your drink bottles the same way. So that's, that can be a cheaper option depending on how many holders you wanna get. I also use this for the kids um, like recess containers that are really long because it fits that in there as well. So the benefit of doing this is obviously this is gonna fit the drink bottles that are too long and too tall so you can pop them in that way and you can also another way to do this is the lazy susan which is always helpful so for example if you don't have the depth but you've got the height you can do a lazy susan or just go up um, so yeah that is how i do that one and then their lunch boxes i've just got these clear containers a little school hack for school mums like myself i like to give the kids they have two lunch boxes each so because i can prep the next day's lunch box before the next one is even washed um, and then in here, this is just for their labeling. I've got like little labels for school. So that is how I store the kids' lunches and drink bottles and all that fun stuff. You can also use them to store like protein shakers and stuff like that. So here I've used a double shelf um, just to create some more space. So yeah, these wire double shelves can be really, really handy for that as well. All right, next up we have the junk drawer. And yes, I have a junk drawer. I feel like 
you can have an organized junk drawer it's just going to be a bit more organized chaos so here is my junk drawer as you can see it is organized chaos it does get cluttered i will let you know that it gets cluttered every couple of weeks and then i'll just do a bit of a cull just like any space when you're organizing it's kind of like keeping up a fitness routine it's something you have to work out each day you can't just get organized once and it stays like that it's something you need to work out each day even if it just takes a couple of minutes so for here i've got this big ikea cutlery caddy and i've used that to section off different parts of the junk drawer items so like you know pans sunnies gift vouchers just pretty much anything that would go in a junk drawer got shopping list to do list notepads here if you're new here this is my brand steph face planners and it is definitely a lot easier to kind of see what's going on in that drawer just make sure if you're going to grab a cutlery caddy for your junk drawer make sure you know again measure your drawer make sure it fits especially the height um, these were quite shallow drawers and silly me didn't measure it so you just got to make sure that everything you use fits in the space that you want it to. All right, guys, so here is that drawer that always goes under the cutlery. So this is the one that's got all the random kitchen utensils. So this is how I've organized it. I grabbed these clear dividers. I think these were from Kmart and I was able to fit two in, which was great. So yes, in this drawer, we've got all those random kitchen utensils that you need to use, um, but just, yeah, it keeps it more organized. I feel like this type of organization, it's definitely not a hack. It's what they're intended for, but this is just your little friendly reminder to grab some dividers and organize those drawers. I've also got the same kind of look for our cooking utensils so these are the larger ones i just got from kmart if you find these are pretty good and they don't slide but if you have any drawer inserts that you find slide around you need to get you can get these silicon uh, drawer liners and you pop that underneath and then that will hold these in place speaking of drawer dividers this is how i organize our tea towels um stasher bags so these are the reusable food bags and then the glad bags just in case and then you got the glad wrap and that there but this is how i organize them these are the the divided containers from kmart i use this for our cleaning stuff as well and also party supplies which i'll show you in a sec but that is how i store all our tea towels and everything like that so it's all sectioned off and it just keeps it nice and tidy as well Here's another use of the same dividers. And as you can see, I've moved the shelves around so you can actually move them where you want them. So this is our little party drawer. Can you tell I'm a mum? So we've got all like the balloon weights there, straws, napkins, just like reusable cups and stuff, cutlery, more plates and party bags. So that is where I keep all of them in here. It is just so handy to have everything that's to do with parties in one place because you might have guests over one night and you might want to use paper plates or you need extra cutlery or something and you don't have any and it's always missing somewhere in the kitchen so i absolutely love having the party stuff all together all right guys if you've been following me for a while you would know this hack from many years ago so your container drawer this is obviously one of the most hardest drawers to deal with so what i like to do is i layer all the bottoms together and then I file all the lids together. So I'm using a file holder, like a document holder from Kmart. I'll put a picture of what it actually looks like above because I've got two of them back to back. So the, the backs are like touching, if that makes sense. And then you just file all of the lids together and it honestly makes it so much easier. It keeps it so much neater. These lids, because they are so big, because um, they've got these flat things there, the height of the drawer wouldn't fit it. So that's why those ones are laying down there, which is fine as well. So you can do that like I have. But that is your container drawer. All right, so this next hack is how I store like cables, chargers, all that stuff, because you know how crazy they get. They used to always end up in the junk drawer, but now I've kept them in this. So this is just, I kept, I actually kept the sticker on you guys for you guys to see what it looks like. I got this, oh, where did I get it from? remember anyway i've kept the sticker on so you can see what it is it's a storage box so it's got all the different compartments so I, this is how i've actually you know categorized all our cables which i've got a dymo label maker which is also a really good budget friendly way to label things and i want to label the insides to say like phone laptop etc etc so that is how i've organized the cables and chargers and honestly it's already been so much easier because ryan and i used to always be like looking around the house a bloody phone charger for 20 years um, but now it's all in one place which is amazing 
while we're in this cupboard, I'll quickly show you this. So this is a file holder, which you can also use for your oven trays. If you don't have like any drawer space in that, that is a really good way to store them uh, vertically. So they're not going everywhere. Also, if you've ever used like HelloFresh and stuff, these A4 document holders are great for that. Even for recipes that you've ripped out of magazines or anything. This is how I store the kids puzzles. So the puzzle pieces don't go missing. The A4 document holder, you can get them from Woolworths, Kmart, pretty much anywhere now so they're really handy and i've just got that in a file holder as well you can use this also for your glad wrap and stuff which is one way i used to store it i used to put all the foil glad wrap all stored in this and this one is from kmart so that is a really good way honestly these things are so versatile they are the best this is kind of not kitchen stuff but i'm going to show you anyway this is uh, like sewing kits and stuff. Again, using those long and narrow tubs. So I'm not wasting any space. That's all fabric cleaner stuff. Now this is from Bunnings and this is what we use to store like screws, hooks, all those, you know, bits and pieces that you need usually in the kitchen. That is where I store them. Again, you can label them using a Dymo label maker to make sure you know which one's in which, but that's how we organize all those, you know, handyman kind of things we need. This is my brain stuff based planners. These are my magnetic fridge organizers. So we've got your meal planner. So I do meal planning on Sundays, which you guys would have seen in a couple of vlogs ago. I did that a full house reset video, which I will link below. And then you got your monthly overview and your don't forget list. Now having this on your fridge, honestly really helps keep the whole family informed. Ryan and I always know what's happening. Being with Harper and if one of us have a really busy meeting or something one day, it's all written on here and it makes life so much easier. Clearly my handwriting is terrible. Um, but yes, these are life saving. So I'll give you guys, I have a discount code just for my YouTube fam. So I'll pop that below so you can check it out. The don't forget list is honestly life changing. Every Friday night, I'll write anything that we kind of need to make sure we remember to do on the weekend, especially like with the kindy list here. We just look at it every morning and make sure we have everything. It just makes life so much easier. All right, here we have our medicine cupboard. I know it looks like we take a lot of tablets, but I just think they accumulate really fast, especially like sports supplements and stuff. Anyways, so this is how I store our medication and, you know, cold and flu stuff. So these are just clear tubs again. I got these from Kmart. They're called fridge baskets from memory. So I've got cold and flu. So obviously when you're sick, all the stuff's in there. Daily tablets, which again, I don't take all of those daily, um, but it's stuff that I probably have bought and I haven't really taken. <laughs> Over here we have vitamins, up here we have sports supplements. So as you can see, I haven't put contacts. So what I did is I labeled these. I should have labeled them white, but I labeled them black. And then I've actually got some white contact and popped it behind. So I need to do it with that one. And then I've got these two little tubs, one's for pain relief, so Panadol and that. And then we have scripts so we don't lose any. And then kids medication, so just whenever the kids are sick. And then we have the first aid kit up the top there. Another kitchen organization little tip. I have had this rec folder for so many years now. So this is my recipes. Um, and this is just for when, you know, this really helps with my meal planning. So I have them all labeled under different types of, you know, dinner. So we've got chicken, red meat, seafood, stir fries, pasta, soups and stews, Mexican, slow cooker, side dishes and snacks. And then when you go to it, um, I'll actually go give you guys the free download link for my recipe template. And you just write out your recipes under each one and it just makes life so much easier. All right, lucky last is the coffee drawer. I love these. So this is definitely not, you know, necessary, but I love it. It's so pretty, I need to fill them up. So I got this, I think from Amazon and it's a coffee pod holder. It's really cute. All my labels, um, a little label code as well. I'll give you guys my discount code below and that will give you a discount on everything. And then I've got like tea and sugar. Love that. Another way you can store your coffee pods is just a normal container. This one's actually an espresso brand, I'm pretty sure, but that's how we store ours on the bench. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And please don't forget to subscribe so you can keep on track with our new build and the stepping series I'm going to do when I come into people's houses and organize. I can't wait for that. I will try my best to link most of the things I shared below. Keep in mind, a lot of them I have are five years old or more so they might not sell them anymore but i will try my very best anyways i will see you guys next monday and have a good day bye